Good morning. It's Monday morning at 6.15 a.m. And I'm here just cooling down a little bit from my cardio on the spinning cycle, my legs. So if you see me bobbing back and forth, that's why. This weekend was a great weekend and just a couple of rambling thoughts I had about it. Let's see if I can put the camera somewhere. All right. So first thing is, most people know I'm a skier. I love to ski and most skiers think about, you know, skiing the big mountain and, you know, going someplace out west or up north. Big mountain, you know, great snow, powder. That's going to be the pinnacle of your season. That's going to be the best part. But this weekend, it was March 31st. I was skiing in slush. It was about 50 degrees. And you know what? It couldn't have been better. It was a messy day on the hill, but and I was only out for a few hours, but the amount of enjoyment I got out of it was amazing. And it just goes to show you don't have to have the, the best, the biggest hill, the best snow to have a great day. So that's my first message. Don't over, overthink things. Don't, over, don't try to overachieve because sometimes the best reward is in just the simple act of doing. So the important thing is you got to do. You got to get out and, and make an effort to get out and either get on the mountain. You've got to make an effort to go do something. Don't just sit around and wait for things to happen. But sometimes it's just doing the basic things. It works out great. And it's better than if you'd achieve the ultimate goal. So that's the first message. The next message would be, I'm watching people walk by, um, visual, I like to think about visual or mental transportation. So when you're, when you're stressed out, you know, you think of being on the beach or you think about being somewhere else that you'd rather be, and it relaxes you. This weekend I had two situations. I went to a, a butterfly house at, at a, uh, it was basically a zoo. They had a butterfly house, and just watching the butterflies fly around you and land on you, it was so cool and so relaxing. And then the second thing I saw this weekend was a goldfish pond. And I was watching the goldfish in the pond outside. And most of them were kind of hanging out down at the bottom. But I saw this one goldfish, and there was a rock. And there was only just like a half an inch of water over top of this big rock and it was a, it was a big tabletop rock and this guy he was he was probably an inch inch thick he was pretty big he couldn't swim right over the rock so what he did he went up to the rock and he turned sideways and he swam sideways over the rock and it was so cool to watch I thought well that's kind of a fluke he just got stuck no he turned around and came back and did it again. And then he did it again. And it looked like he was, he was kind of showing off that, hey, I, I know this trick. I'm not supposed to be able to swim over this, but I can do it. And all the other fish were hanging out at the bottom. And this guy was up at the top just showing off for me. So last night, um, after a long weekend, I was trying to relax and just lying in bed, getting ready to go to sleep. And the two things I thought about were the butterflies which was relaxing, it really calmed me down. And then thinking about that fish, it just, it was so cool, it just put me right to sleep. So if you're stressed out, you know, take a mental note of things around you and draw some kind of inspiration from that. And you know, there's things all around us every day that we don't notice, but those things can give us inspiration or kind of a meditation they can help us relax so that's it basically for monday monday morning it's now 6 20 this uh has gone on for about five minutes just a couple things i observed this weekend wanted to share with you and i'm ready for a new week full of opportunities and excitement so that's it for today talk to you later bye bye